Okay, y'all. I have been dying to make this pie. I shared a recipe earlier this week. It's called Winner's Circle Pie. And I found this in one of the mini cookbooks one of my friends brought me um, for my birthday. And this one is called Bonnie Fair. And it's a collection of recipes from the Laurenburg Junior Service League from Laurenburg, North Carolina. So the one that I shared that I thought looked interesting and what I'm making today is Winner's Circle Pie. So I did a little Googling on this pie because a few of you had commented on it and said it originated in Kentucky, which makes sense because that's where the Kentucky Derby is held. And that is a tradition that has been going on in Kentucky since 1875. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's a horse race. And they said not only was it a tradition to hold the horse race, the Derby, Derby Kentucky, but it was also a tradition to make the winter circle pie. They said it's great topped with whipped cream and the recipes I saw when Googling included adding bourbon to it. It says add a good dash of bourbon. But of course the recipe in this junior league did not call for bourbon. I don't drink anyway, so I don't have bourbon, so I'm not putting it in mine. So I am not buying the store-bought crust in the aluminum pans, but I did buy the refrigerated pie crust and I've got it in this deep dish pie plate. This is our glazed stoneware pan. It's nine inches wide. I love this pan. It holds six cups. I make a lot of casseroles. It's just got a scalloped edge and just gives it such a cute little flair. So I'm using this pan to make mine. So, so far I've only mixed one half cup of flour and one cup of sugar per the recipe. The next step is to add two eggs beaten. So I have those cracked and I'll add them in. And one stick of butter melted, but not hot. So I always like to lay my butter out and let it get room temperature and I've melted it and it's been sitting here and cooling a little bit. You don't see me use the end of the liquid measure all cup much. I usually use this other end, but I've got one cup of soft but cool melted butter. It might be too cool. I've let it sit. Hot butter would cook those eggs if you poured hot butter right on that and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to get all of this out. Then all we have to do is combine this mixture. And get it all out. I should have melted it a little more, but I didn't want it to be hot, hot. I want to get it all. Okay, so now this is what we have. <laughs> and I will just combine the flour, the sugar, the eggs, and the butter. And there's only two more ingredients, which is chocolate, two of my favorites, chocolate chips and walnuts. I also have had several comments on the recipe that I shared on my page that it's also great with pecans. And I love pecans. Oh, my oven is preheating to 350 degrees and it is ready. But to do the recipe for the first time, I'm going to do it with walnuts. But I do love pecans. That would be my, my nut of choice. So if I like this pie, the next time I make it, I will be making it with pecans for sure. Okay, so it tells me that once we have this done, to add in the nuts, the chips, and a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. I'm going to add in this vanilla flavoring, one teaspoon. This is some good vanilla flavoring, y'all. Pampered Chef only has this in the fall, and I love summertime. <laughs> so I'm not rushing fall, but th this is my last bottle, so I can't wait for fall to get here so I can get some more. It is so, so good. So one cup of walnuts. It didn't say whether to chop the walnuts or not, but I did. I chopped them a little bit and one cup of chocolate chip more. It's got to be good. There's no way this cannot make a delicious pie. But it's very simple and ingredients that other than walnuts you might not have on hand, but I normally do have walnuts and both walnuts and pecans on hand in my kitchen. But I do a lot of baking. Okay, and we just toss this to combine. Let me move my cookbook out of the way. I don't want to get it dirty. 
and I'll bring this over. And now all we have to do is pour this in the pie shell and it said bake it for about 45 minutes. So I will pause this video and I'll come back on when it's done so you can see what it looks like. It also says it's great topped with whipped cream or Cool Whip. It's just interesting how different traditions come about in different places for different occasions. There's always things we cook for holidays that we don't typically cook all year, and I don't know why, because they're so good. Like Thanksgiving, we do turkey. I like turkey all the time. For that um, good, delicious turkey gravy and turkey dressing. Okay. All right. So we are ready to go to the oven. Doesn't that look good? So y'all stay tuned, and I will come back on after 45 minutes when this is done and show you what it looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, this pie is done and it is beautiful and it smells amazing. I cannot wait to cut this. I've let it cool just to touch, but I cannot wait to slice it and let you see what it looks like on the inside. I set my kitchen timer for 35 minutes because the recipe said 35 to 40 minutes. I think I said 45 minutes when I was preparing it. So in 35 minutes, it still looked a little wet on the top. So I just stood right there. And in about three more minutes, I took it out. So I baked it for 38 minutes. I think 40 probably would have been okay too, but it wouldn't have, all ovens are different, but I think 45 would have been too much in mine. Did y'all see how this pie dish makes those pretty scallop shapes? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use the slice and serve. This baby is huge, it's five and a half inches long. And I like using it in my casseroles because the side is really high. It's got high walls, it's got a serrated blade on it. So it makes it a knife and a slice and serve tool. So I'm gonna get just a little piece for me to taste. And I know it's gonna be delicious. And I'm going to have to quickly take this to somebody else. <laughs> Luckily, both of my daughters live on each side of me. So I can take some to them and their family. Mm -mm -mm. It's still got a little bit of gooey on the inside, but oh my goodness, I can see now why they say it's good with um, whipped cream on top. Y'all see that? And I'm sure if Miss Impatient would let it sit and cool, that that's going to thicken. But if it don't, that's okay. It's like a little hot fudge pie to me. But it looks delicious, and I cannot wait to dig in. So thank you guys so much, and you can go back on my page and look for the recipe, or I will try to share this again in the comments of this video. Try it at home. Oh, I got to taste it. Let me taste it. I didn't taste it tell you what it tastes like. Mm. Try it. It was very good. Especially, I love it warm. My husband's not a fan of warm desserts. He likes them to cool off first. But I just took it out of the oven. But it is very, very good. It's only got a cup of sugar in there, so it's really not too sweet, but those walnuts and chocolate chips are perfect combination. It is delicious. So I give it a 10 star review, and I hope you will try this recipe in your kitchen. Thank y'all for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.